Hello! For the love of whatever religion you believe in, do not, and I mean do not, update your BIOS on the X370 Tai Chi motherboard from ASRock to version 5.5. Now, why do I say this? Well, for the last 12, more than that, maybe last day worth of time, over the last week, I've been trying to figure out why my graphics driver repeatedly crashes. And originally I thought it was the graphics card. The 1080 Ti that I have, I thought was quite screwed up. I was getting artifacts, I was getting some artifacting, I was getting some just random drivers crashing. So I really was thinking I, I need to go spend another, I don't know how much these things go for anymore, a lot of money on a new graphics card. And thank God that's not the case. But here's the problem. I don't have another AMD X3, or X, AM4 mother, motherboard period, and you would think on this tech channel, with all the builds that I've done, no, I do not have another AM4 motherboard. And so, here I am, updating my BIOS. I follow all the directions. Um, I do this multiple times, a, sometimes I do it multiple times a day, I update BIOS on um, motherboards, so I know what I'm doing. And, I go through and I follow all the steps, jump through all the hoops, install the software, update the versions in step-by-step -step order, and I load up to 5.5, and I go, and I can't even play anything. I can't edit. I can't can't edit my videos. I can't play any games. And heaven forbid, I want to listen to music and play games. It just completely annihilates the computer. Unusable. GPU is at 100%. Crashes out. Everything crashes. Premiere dead. Psh, not even worth it. So now I'm stuck with a brick, and I have to send it into RMA. Now, RMA would be nice, and I was like, you know, okay, well, you know, maybe I'll call him. So I call him, and I'm like, hey, uh, is there any way, you know, I, I use this computer a lot. I preferably like to, you know, because this is what my main editing machine is, I preferably like to have, um, maybe just send me one, um, and I, so that when I get it, I can just replace it, um, or I can just send this one out now. I was just like, is there anything that we can do so we can get it started sooner so I can get one back in the system? And they're like, no, which is understandable. That's that's understandable. I'm not I'm not gonna get on top of the block there. Um, but I do think it's a little annoying that this all happened after the BIOS update. And you know, okay, you know, at least take somewhat responsibility for that. Um, heck, I don't know. Even I know we had to install for this motherboard. We had to install a set of like adapter drivers. That I'm pretty sure what the cop problem is is something in there. Um, and I honestly think that, yes, I appreciate supporting the Ryzen 3000 series, but if it's not properly tested and it completely annihilates the use of my system, uh, I'm no better than where I start. Actually, I'm worse off. So, for me, wanting to be getting a Ryzen 3950X when it comes out, on top of me having a huge stream th th Thursday, about doing a Ryzen 3900 build, a 900X build for a friend, it's quite annoying. So tomorrow, everything is still on. By the way, I do have a computer, or a, actually my server that I'll be repurposing as my main computer for a little while. And um, yeah, we are going to be sending this off to RMA. This will be a big hole in the area over there. Um, and for now, my recommendation for everybody and for the last couple people that I built computers for is do not buy Azeroth, period. So, that would be my recommendation. No, I, I think that something odd happened, uh, but I would not discredit it yet just for one incident, but I definitely would say that something was clearly wrong with the software, and I think that this video needs to be out there just to be aware for everybody that there is an issue that I've had. And I do these videos so that other people that have similar issues can find, uh, know that they're not alone. And now I've got to disassemble the sucker. It's a lot of work. And then i got to send it off. So, and also, I was trying to sign up and for the RMA thing, and they need a JPEG, in, or a PNG instead of a JPEG, and they're being picky about it, of the receipt. I'm like, really? So, sorry guys, I've got to set up another computer and edit this on there, and download Premiere, edit this, put upload this, and then hopefully be good. Um, like, oh my goodness, though. I cannot believe all the crap that I've had to put up with so far.
But I know it's not the PSU. I know it's not the GPU. I tested them all independently. They all work fine. I know it's not the RAM. I mean, I can go down the list of everything that I've tested. I've spent a whole lot of time on this. Um, it's costing me time, money. Yeah, please, before you get an update, at least make sure your stuff works fine. Because holy crap, it does not. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I've got to set up a computer and get editing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.